how to use the expression, the idiom, the proverb, a watch pot never boils to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornelson here, and our idiom, our proverb today, is one, of course, that Benjamin Franklin made famous in the mid-1700s, a watch pot never boils. What does it mean? It means, of course, that something we wait for with importance and massive attention seems to take forever to make its way to us. And when we really, really want something, and we're waiting and anticipating that it's gonna arrive, we tend to push off its actual arrival. And actually there's natural laws that, that prove this, but have you ever been making pasta? I used to make macaroni and cheese for my granddaughter because you know, kids love macaroni and cheese. I don't get it, but they love it. So I put the water on and of course, as soon as she said she wanted macaroni and cheese, she instantly wanted to eat it, which they have come up with a solution for, by the way, very good business. But the whole instant gratification thing, we expect that as soon as we want something, we're instantly going to have that. And we're setting ourselves up for disappointment and failure. It doesn't mean we're not gonna have it. It just means we're probably not gonna have it right now. Uh, what our expectations are, and this, is, this idiom is all about managing our expectations, knowing what we want, going for it, but having our expectations, wanting and having our expectations without attachment to the, not the outcome, we want to have a vision for the outcome and, and always maintain and hold that vision, but we want to know that the how and the when are subject to change at any time. You know, I made Italian food, I had an Italian food, Italian food manufacturing plant for 35 plus years and one of the things that we noticed was that first batch in the morning and that last batch at night always seemed to take so much longer than all the other batches that we made out throughout during the day. Now what's interesting is yeah it took the pot a little bit longer to warm up first time but once the water was boiling it was kept at a consistent temperature all day long so it didn't really take longer for it to boil ever. It always takes about the same amount of time and then each batch cooked for the same amount of time. So <clears throat> it was just our perception that made it feel longer. Why? Because we wanted to get started in the morning. We were anticipating and wanted it to hurry up. And then at the end of the day, we wanted that last batch to get done and cook faster so we could clean up and go home for the day. Well, those pots literally took the exact same amount of time to cook and to boil every single time over and over again. That's why we have systems and procedures and processes in our business so that we get consistent results and consistent outcomes every single time. Well, our, it, it was a perfect demonstration to each and every one of us that worked in the organization that how we look at things changes and how we perceive things changes how we feel about the outcomes that we're getting and how long it takes to get the outcome. Uh, you know, it's 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 really interesting because I am guilty of that sitting and watching the batch and hoping it gets done faster or hoping that the water boils faster and sooner so we could get started sooner during the day and it just seemed like if I was focusing on that thing not happening yet I was pushing it away and it was not happening yet so I'd love to know how do we okay so now that we know this now that we know our perception is important what do we do about it well I say we visualize and we focus the end game, the big thing that we want, our big desire, what we want our business to look like. And we share that with everyone that plays a part in helping us to create and grow the business that we want. And then we act as if and we think every day and we visualize that situation, the ideal situation, as if it's already in existence. We pay especially attention to our senses, how we feel about having created this amazing business that we want to create. And then we take action. Every day we do at least one thing to move us toward that vision. Will, will that one thing, one day, be the thing that gets us to that perfect vision? Yes, but every day along the way, some things will work, some things won't work, and we'll just do another thing the next day. And if we can do more than one thing a day, perfect. Hopefully we are doing more than one thing a day with ourselves and with our teams to move us toward what we want. But all those things aren't gonna work. If we're setting ourselves up for false expectations and challenges and mental mind games if we ever expect that we're going to go from A to Z instantly. Does it happen? Yeah, very rarely, right? Somebody wins the Powerball, somebody wins the Mega Millions or the Lottery or whatever, or somebody gets, uh, you know, something that happens that's just amazing and it catapults their growth. But 
we forget all the work and all the energy and all the trying and all the things that they had to do to make sure that when that situation arose, they were in the right place at the right time. They were ready. They were capable of the massive growth, the massive change, the creation of the business that they wanted to create. So share in the comments below your experience with this. A watch pot never boils. I can tell you there's been a handful of times where I've been sitting staring at that pot for my granddaughter because she wants to eat faster. And then I just started buying the... Uh, microwavable instant mac and cheese and it takes three minutes you know toddlers are much more patient for three minutes than they are for 15 or 20 for the water or you know 10 or 15 for the water to get boiling and for the pasta to cook etc and that's you know we adults we're not that much different than kids when it comes to wanting things now right now all right have an amazing day i'll be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom what does it mean where does it come from and how might you use it in your business right now Catch you tomorrow.